How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and welcome to the ultimate guide on creating a Chrome OS Flex USB installer or an SD card installer. We're gonna do both. Whatever you have lying around the house, it's gotta be at least eight gigabytes or more and you gotta be willing to allow it to be completely formatted. Any data that you have on them will be wiped. We're gonna do it on a Mac, we're gonna do it on a PC. The index of where that part of the tutorial starts is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you don't miss another project. And Let's get into the tutorial. So here we are on the Windows computer. You're going to need to get the Google Chrome browser. So if you already have it, open up the Google Chrome browser, skip to a little bit farther in the video, and that's where I'll see you. If you don't already have the Google Chrome browser, we're going to open up this goofy Microsoft Edge browser and then download the Google Chrome browser. You'll either see the icon down here for Microsoft Edge, or you'll go over here, or you can type into this finder, Microsoft Edge, and you're going to have to click on that app in order to open it. Then if you click on this field right here and type in Google Chrome browser. If you're going to get hit by this ad for Microsoft Edge, we're going to skip that and go to this next link that says Google Chrome browser. I will put a link to this in the description for your convenience if you don't already have the Google Chrome browser. Then you're going to hit download Chrome right here and it should start downloading if it doesn't start downloading automatically. Click on this download Chrome manually button and it should download the Chrome setup file. It'll either pop up right here or you can navigate to your downloads folder and you should have a Chrome setup application. Double click on that and then it's going to pop up if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, you're going to hit yes. Although you're going to just see a black screen on the screen record, for some reason it doesn't capture it. So bear with me on that. After hitting yes it's going to open the installer and it's going to download google chrome It automatically launches Google Chrome. You can see down here the Google Chrome icon. That is our browser. If, if you click on it, it will subtract the window. If you click on it again, it will bring the window back up. And then from here, we're going to click on this field and type in Chrome OS recovery and hit enter. I will put a link to this in the description as well for your convenience. You're gonna go to this Chromebook recovery utility right here click on that. It's going to bring you to this Chromebook recovery utility page. It only has two star reviews, but ignore that. It's from people having problems with it. But for what we're doing, you should have no problem. You're going to click add to Chrome right here, and then you're going to hit add extension. It's going to download and install that extension automatically on your Chrome browser. You can hit the X right here. Then you're going to click on this little puzzle piece, which is where the extensions hang out. And then you're going to click on Chromebook recovery utility. It's going to open this up. We're going to hit get started, identify your Chromebook, we're going to select a model from a list. We're going to click on select manufacturer drop down, scroll down to Chrome OS Flex, and then select a product. We're just going to click on Chrome OS Flex. At this point in time, it's a developer unstable version. But when you're actually doing this tutorial, it may say that it is the stable version. So we're going to click that and then we're going to hit continue. Now you're either going to take your SD card and slide it into your SD card slot or you're gonna take your USB and slide that USB into that USB slot. Whatever you have, you're gonna plug into your computer. It might pop up, so you, then you can X out of those windows. But once it's recognized by the computer, you should be able to click this drop down and pick your SD card. I recommend only having one plugged in at a time so you know which device you're using and you don't accidentally use a device that has valuable data on it. I know this is the one that I plugged in and everything is going to get erased on it. So everything on your USB USB drive or your SD card is going to get erased, which is why it gives you this warning right here. Then we're going to hit continue. And then it gives you another warning that all data on your recovery media, which is your SD card or your USB will be deleted. We're going to hit create now. And then we're going to let this utility run. And then it's going to pop up with, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You're not going to see this on the screen record, but we're going to hit yes. It's gonna bring you back to the installer and you're gonna let this run. And that took a couple of minutes to run, but your recovery media is now ready. So now we're gonna hit done. You can remove your SD card or your USB, depending what you made. And then you're gonna use this device to install the Chrome OS on the computer that you're trying to modernize or upgrade. I will have some videos linked in the description of putting Chrome OS on an old HP, an old Toshiba, old Lenovo's, an old Mac, repurposing these old computers 
more or less modernizing them. Now we're gonna create the bootable USB or SD card drive on a Mac. If you have a newer Mac with no USB ports, you only have USB-C port, you're gonna have to get a dongle thing like this with an SD card slot or a little dongle thing like this or a USB to USB-C conversion. And I will put a link to a couple of those in the description. Once you get your dongle situation situated, I'll see you guys on the Mac. Here we are on our Mac. You're going to want to go down to this bar and find Safari. The icon looks like that and you're going to want to click on Safari. For some reason it's not down here, you can go up to the finder, click on that and type in Safari. It should come up in here and you can click on it there as well. Then we're gonna type in Google Chrome Mac and hit enter. It should pop up as the first search result. I will also put a link to it in the description as well for your convenience. We're gonna click on that. It should bring you to this page where it's a Google Chrome download. It automatically recognizes what Mac OS you are on. You're going to hit download Chrome. It's going to start your download down here. You can also see your download going on up here as well. And as soon as that download finishes, this will jump a little bit. You can click on that and then click on your Google Chrome.dmg. That's going to open up this. You're going to click and hold on that Google Chrome icon, drag it down to applications, and then you're going to release it. That should copy it to your applications folder, installing the app on your Mac. Once that is finished copying, you can double click on this applications folder right here, scroll down and look for Google Chrome. Double click on that Google Chrome, open up that Chrome browser. It says Google Chrome is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? We're going to hit open and then it opens up your Google Chrome. You can now X out of applications, X out of that installer, X out of Safari, X out of all of these notifications over there. And you can also click and drag this Google Chrome installer to the eject button, which is also the trash to get rid of that. Once your Google Chrome is open, I recommend going down here, two finger clicking, go to options and go to keep in dock. That will permanently leave Google Chrome down here. That will leave a Google Chrome shortcut down here for your convenience. Then we're going to go to this browser bar up here and type in Google Chrome OS utility. The first search should be the Chromebook recovery utility. I will put a link to this in the description as well for your convenience. We're gonna click on that and then it's going to bring us here. There are really bad reviews at some point. I don't think this was working correctly, causing a lot of bad reviews. But we're just going to click add to Chrome right here. It's going to pop up with this. We're going to hit add extension. Chromebook utility has been added to Chrome. We can now X out of that. Then we're going to go up here, click on the puzzle piece. That's our Chrome extensions. And then we're going to click on Chromebook recovery utility. We're going to run this. We're going to hit get started. You're going to identify your Chromebook by selecting a model from a list. The first drop down, we're going to pick Google Chrome OS Flex, and then the product is going to be Chrome OS Flex Developer Unstable. Yours may say Developer Stable, or it might say Consumer Stable. It might change over time, but this is what it says right now. And then we're going to hit continue. This is where you're going to plug in your USB into your dongle or in, straight into your Mac if you have a USB port or your SD card, whatever you're gonna be using. Once it's plugged in, you're gonna click on this drop down, and then you're going to click the USB or the SD card that you're going to be using. Then we're going to hit continue. It's going to let you know that all data on your USB or your SD are going to be deleted. So do be aware of that. And hopefully you don't have important data on your drive. Then we're going to click create now. Don't remove your recovery media. And you're just going to let this run for a couple of minutes. Then it's going to pop up with Google Chrome would like to access files on a removable volume. You're going to hit OK. Giving Google Chrome permission to write to the USB drive. If you have a password on your Mac account, it's going to ask you for your password. So just type that in and then hit OK. So that took closer to 30 minutes. It was a slow USB connection, but once it's done, click on done, X out of that, and then you're going to remove your USB. And now this is ready to install Chrome OS on whatever computer you're gonna be upgrading or repurposing. I do have some tutorials coming out of installing Chrome OS on HPs, Lenovo's, old Dell's, old Macs that I will link to in the description to show you step-by-step -step how to use this to repurpose 
repurpose those old computers, get them up and running, sort of modernize them again. So that was the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe so you don't miss another project. If you have any questions about the tutorial, throw them in the comment section, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.